Hello guys, so in this video we are going to start with Flutter. So we will be installing Flutter SDK and we will be running the first application. We will also need to install Android Studio for the same and we will also install that VS Code. Okay, so let's quickly go to browser and simply type download Flutter SDK. So simply go for this install and move to the platform whatever you are using so i'm using windows okay. so simply go here get the flutter and click on this so this is gonna start downloading so meanwhile we can take a look on that we need to extract that zip into this folder so let's quickly create a folder in c drive meanwhile it is downloading so go to c drive and create a new folder named source Okay, fine. So here we need to extract the flutter. So I think flutter is downloaded. Okay. We open it and see. So simply right click it, extract files, go to C drive and select your source folder and okay. So meanwhile it is extracting. Let's take a look on this. So let me open command prompt and check for this command whether flutter is there or not okay so let's go ahead and check for flutter hyphen hyphen version so this command is not working another command is there to check flutter is working fine that is flutter doctor nothing is working okay fine so meanwhile i think it is extracted not yet so meanwhile it is extracting let me quickly download android studio we go to this and go to this and just simply go to download android studio select that conditions out that you cannot install and go ahead. Okay. So I just go here. I think it is extracted. Fine. So now what I need to do is I just go here and show you. So we need to set the path in order to identify Flutter command. We need to set the path. So how do you do so? Simply, this is how it is given here. So we need to open the Flutter bin folder. Okay, so just go to Flutter and then find the bin folder and you need to copy this part. Okay, so simply open your environment variable. So simply write in environment variable. Okay, so system properties and the system properties you will be able to find it. So simply write it in edit your system environment variable. Or second way you can simply go to your my computer properties and find for envir environment variable okay so might be there advanced system setting and you get this simply go to this environment variables and so you can either create the path here or here so here we already have a path you can edit it and add your path or you can have path here as well okay so this is for a specific user this is for all the users so i want this flutter to be accessible to all the users so i will go for the system variable not this rio so this is uh, basically my computer name so i just go for this because i want it to work for all the users so we already have just go for new and paste this okay okay and okay that's all the flutter path is set so if you try to run your flutter version again it will not work so you need to close this command prompt and open it again in order to reflect that path settings so let's try with flutter hyphen hyphen version so you can see now it is taking some time and here you go that is saying we are working on a flutter 3.0.5 and the dark version is 2.17 and 6 that's all 
Okay, now another command you can try with flutter doctor. This will basically tell you if anything is missing for flutter. Just identify and let you know if something is missing. So meanwhile it is doing I we have downloaded the Android tool. Refresh and we need VS code as well. Let's quickly download VS code. Simply go for this link. And I have Windows, I don't need it. So I'm having 64 bits, so I will go for this. Whatever version you have, you can go for that. Let's just download it. Okay, now here you can see it is saying Flutter is fine. Android tool chain is not there. Basically, we are not able to locate uh, it is not able to locate android sdk so we need to install android studio as well and vs code is also there and i think otherwise everything is fine let's quickly install android studio side by side and well i think vs code is also downloaded Refresh it and side by side install VS Code as well. Close everything else. Simply hit yes. The task for confirmation. I accept. Okay, so we are having Android Studio as well. Yes, next, next, next. We don't need to do anything. So here if you want to change you can change the path i will keep it default i have enough space on my feeder install just wait for a few seconds and meanwhile we install this vs code as well side by side next next and make sure you add it into this path so that okay and if you want you can add text of icon i don't need it it's all So VS Code is also being installed. Ah, this studio is also being installed. Let's wait for a few seconds. I'm not uh, basically removing any part of the video so that you can properly see. So go ahead, next, and start Android Studio. And VS Code, we don't need for the time being. Let's go here. So we don't have any settings, so we don't need it. Uh, make sure your internet is being connected at that time so i don't need to send anything because uh, while you install it uh, download some dependencies i just need like thing okay let's keep it and you can see it is showing uh, the components need to be installed along with the size so next and you need to accept this uh, term and conditions okay and we need to accept this extra license for Intel emulator as well. We need it. And just go ahead for finish. So it basically depends on your internet connection, how much speed it is, depending on that, it will basically take some time. Okay, so meanwhile it is uh, downloading the components. Uh, we can go ahead and try to Open VS Code and so if you uh, directly want to work with VS Code, you can work. We need some couple of extensions, but you must have to use this Android Studio because this include all the emulator and other settings for the better fine. Okay, so uh, how do you install extension over here? You just simply go for this extension and search here for Flutter. Okay, so just install this. So once you install it, it will by default. Okay. So that's fine. And let's take a look. So it will take some time. So you need to have patience for this. And 
the studio needs someone while we can check for this letter to dr lee you see earlier there were three category issues now see that decreased or not Downloading part is over to just zipping and while the doctor is identifying anything or not. Okay, so it is asking simply hit yes. Okay, I think the thing is done. So before going for any project, uh, just go for the setting. And do we have anything here? Now let me try here. This is a new basically. So simply go for this uh, virtual device. We need a device to run the application. So quickly create a virtual device. Uh, you can select any of these. Hit next. And you need to have at least one out of these. So I will go ahead and go for this 31 version. Accept this. Next is. So it is uh, having approximately of 1.4 GB. So again, it depends on your internet speed. And I think this doctor is taking so much time. Let me close this and check. Extension is installed, that's fine. We can close it. We don't need to even install extension. It is for those who want to actually work with VS Code directly. So we will create first project in Studio, Android Studio. So it will take some time. We need to wait for this. Okay, so I think the emulator part is almost done. And yeah, so we need to install some extensions basically here as well on Android Studio. Otherwise, let's wait for this to complete. Otherwise, let me try to open VS Code. Okay, it's done. Let's keep it aside. It's finished. So we need this emulator. Now select this one, whatever downloaded. Next. And if you want, you can specify the name, whatever you want. So I will keep it default so that I can understand this is APL level 31. Okay. So you can change the orientation, whatever you want. This can be changed later on as well. So let's go for finish. Okay, great. So emulator is ready. You can simply select this. And if you want, you can do modify. I just quickly launch this. Okay. So it is asking for some firewall permissions. Just allow this. Okay, let's close this one. Now we have the plugins over here. So we need to go for selector plugin. Just install it. Accept this. Yeah, it is asking for Dart plugin as well. Yes, we need it. Okay, so once it is installed, you need to restart your IDE. Let's restart it. And this is uh, meanwhile the emulator which is being Started. Let's wait for it as well. My IDE almost up and IDE is restarted. Let's wait. Okay, so here you go. So here you will be able to see the option of new Flutter project. So we can go ahead and click on this new Flutter project. Let's wait for this emulator and it is up. Okay, so let's go here for new Flutter project. Okay, so here make sure you are selecting this Flutter and the path should be selected as the path on your machine. 
for example if it is not coming here so it has rejected it in case it is not coming here you just hit for this button and select the path wherever you have placed it in my case i have placed in c source flutter so i selected it okay so just go for next and specify project name let's give it first let's go for app and you can set the location where you want to place you can add descriptions like project type so i will just keep it default because we need only two code bases so i have by default i will keep it on the finish so it will take some time initially first time so make sure your internet is connected so that it can uh, download the required files let's wait okay so everything is up now what you need to do just click on this run since we have already created emulator by default it is like that so just wait and make sure your machine is connected with the internet because Cradle may download some dependencies from internet so it will take some time you need to wait okay so apk is created and it is installing let's wait and once it is installed it is launched automatic and here you go so this is the default app that's all for this video thank you